Well, hello, folks. This is a follow-up of a follow-up of a follow-up of a video that was, I did that nobody watched, that everybody probably hated, that nobody cares about. So guess what? I'm doing it all over again. I did a video about this broken FRN handle on this Spyderco that it's cracked right through there. I'll put a link in the description of the video where we're watching Dave get disgusted that his Super Spyderco is broken. Well, actually, I was sitting here and I was stropping my fillets all blades and sharpening them on this big Dexter Russell thing. I think I got this figured out. I think I got this figured out. What I do is I basically hold it at a 20 degree angle and draw the knives down like that. So I was stropping up. I was getting ready for the El Cheapo Sheep's Head Tournament here in Jacksonville, Florida. That will be on March 9th. And yours truly, yes, yours truly, will be bringing the fillets all blades in the Makita saw. And I will be uh, doing fish cleaning again. I will be ripping the sides off some big fat sheep's head. Sheep said, sheep said, and I'll tell you these right here. This is the flexi blade. This is the 12 inch blade. I've got videos of my, on my YouTube channel, all about these. I will put a link below or in a card somewhere up here, right here of the El Cheapo sheep said tournament last me last year. And me ripping the sides off big fat sheep's head with these blades and a Makita one-handed reciprocating saw. But that's here nor there. Because while I was doing that, its replacement already showed up. And here it is. I like having an emergency blade on me. That's what this was. A hundred dollar emergency knife. And you say to yourself, well, Dave, what is that? Well, this is a CRKT, Columbia River Knife and Tool Company, Bear Claw. It's the Bear Claw. Nice little sheath. Metal belt clip. Yes, nice little sheath. Now, let's see this thing break. And if it does, why would I care? Why would I care? I don't even believe they make this one anymore with this super point on it. I think the only ones that they're making now, the CRKT Bear Claw. Bear Claw right there. I think the only ones they're making now are blunt tip ones. Got this for like 24 bucks, free shipping on eBay, in the box, never used. So why do I care if I would, this handle would break? And I think I can beat the hell out of this all day long and it ain't breaking. Full tang, finger, look at the grips right there. Look at the grips. Man, that is a rescue blade. Or that is a rescue blade. Got jumping here. Jumping here. And then for probably just regular hold. Jumping right there to do some cutting. I've already stropped it on my little strop right here. Just like this, very lightly. And it is wicked sharp. Let's see. 
Here's some cuts. Notice of rights and responsibilities for Department of Veteran Affairs. Okay, Department of Veteran Affairs. Yeah, that'll do it. I think this will cut some rope because that's what it's made for. Rope, fishing line, emergencies. That's why I have this on my side. When I'm in the boat, especially. It's a little more tighter than the spider coasterations. A little tighter and the spider coasterations are a little more spread out. Spider Co. had this little plain edge right here with the hook. This one has this little plain edge right here that you can clean your fingernails with. See, watch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Clean your fingernails. So, when I saw this, this isn't the greatest steel in the world. I think it's CR 13 something or other something. There's so many steels out there. I looked it up. It's not the most high dollar steel in the world. Unlike this. This is a Japanese uh, VG-10. Very sought after. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of spider codes are made out of VG-10. Very good 10. That's how I remember it. Then you got your old serrated Dex steel. That's a high carbon steel, but they don't really rust that bad, but it's a carbon steel. Made out of the Flazol blades are Dexter Russell blades. You can see that right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it says Flazol USA. Make America great again, folks. Make America great again. This knife was designed by an Alaskan. Russ Comer, I believe. Alaska. Alaska Designs, and he is a taxidermist. This knife design is very old, very old. This has been around since, what, 2015, 2012, something like that. But he's a taxidermist, and he said one day while he was doing some taxidermy on a bear, he noticed its claw. So that's the reason he came up with this design. Fits in the hand really good. Got this little screw. That's the weird little thing here. It's funny, you know, knife designers. If it ain't working, let's make it work. That's how, that's how knife designs work. There's your sheath. Nobody in the knife world shows sheaths up close. I'm going to not only show the sheath up close, but I'm going to put some serious light on it for you. This wasn't on there when I got it. You can see that there's a belt loop thing through here. Neck knife at here, which to me, neck knives are the dumbest thing in the world because... I'm just not into those neck knives. I found that out real quick with the Mora Eldris. So this sits on my belt pretty good. And I reach down like this and pop it. What happened? The Eldris just got put into the plier pocket in my AFCO Blue Waters, my Blue Water shorts. This is that clip I did months and months ago, the SOG clip. That works best in my plier pocket. So I'll show you here next how this carries and how I'm carrying this and how this is now, since it pissed me off, this is now out of the rotation and it goes in the 
in the knife drawer down here. And it might, I don't know if that's going back or not. It just might go on eBay for sale. I really like fixed blades anyhow. I was very on the fence about that assist knife because just from the get-go, to me, it won't come out of that sheath, folks. It won't come out of that sheath. Russ, I commend you, sir. I commend you, sir. You did a good job. Small, compact, lightweight. But I don't really give a crap about weight. Why do I care about weight? There's a head-on look at it. Got these little star screws here. I don't know what that is. We're going to call it plastic, just like the just like the sheath. The sheath is a very hard plastic. This isn't very textured at all, but it doesn't have to be. Because you got your you can put your finger right there. And let me tell you, that is a grip. There's a grip. Let me show you how it carries. She's out. And she's probably for sale. It might go on eBay. I don't know if I'm going to send it back or not. So while we got this in front of us, let's see what the bear claw does to 400 pound mono. Probably going to get caught on it. Oh, oh, that sure did work easy. For me, this works for right hand carry. All right, let me show you how this carries. All right, well, the Mora Eldress is down here now. And it's working like this. Because I'm in and out of this pocket. There's the Cordura pocket. My AFCO Blue Waters. So that still works perfect. And then here's the bear claw. There's the bear claw. This is different. Well, it's right next to my big O light. Reach down, pop her out. There you go. There's the bear claw for emergency knife. Then the Eldris down here for all my other cutting tasks. I know my subscribers did not find this entertaining in the least, and that's okay because I'm good with it. I'm doing this because I don't have a boat here. I've done so many knot videos and Snell and all kinds of stuff. All you had to do is breeze my channel. And like one guy said, well, if it stops being fun, then I don't know. I'm just sitting here and I'm doing this. So the mailman showed up with my new knife that I replaced the Spyderco with. So, you know, figured I'd throw it out there. Hopefully I'll get my boat back soon. And I got in the works, in the works already. I'm, I got the talent lined up. Maybe going to the boat show, not next weekend going to the boat show next weekend and doing some uh boat critiques if this all works out if he can do it and everything so i'll see you then thanks for watching i wanna go fishing because it takes my stress away i wanna go fishing try and cast my blues away I Stop.